welcome to my first ever YouTube video. It's taken a while to get here, um, to be precise, since last February I think I wanted to do it. And it just get kept, sorry I can't even talk, I'm so jet lagged. Just kept being put in the to-do pile or the too hard pile. And sorry I have a little visitor here. Um, I think he's going to sit quietly there. Hopefully sit quietly there, aren't you Alfie? So I kept putting it off and then it got to January this year and I thought I have to do this. Now there's annoying heads of hair in my face. Um, and it got to January and I was in Harrods um, in the UK and I thought let's do this. So I found a camera with HD video and the salesperson said you know you need this microphone, you need this editing tool and I was getting very overwhelmed. I thought I'll just get the camera, we'll do our first few videos, see how they go see what you guys think and then then we'll get to the microphone so i'm kind of hoping this works um anyway so let's see how we go uh, i'm gonna start because i've been rambling and you've probably already fast forwarded because you're saying this girl is so boring but let's do it so i thought i'd start with the two fashion items um so they are you've already seen this if you follow me you'll probably see everything if you already follow me on instagram or on facebook or on twitter um, which I'll also link below in the box. But my first thing I got was from Hermes. And again, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know what this is. And it's this amazing click clack bracelet in the black and gold. I've kind of wanted the black and gold for ages. Um, and I never seem to be able to find it. So when I saw it in Harrods, must have. Um, I kind of think this piece is very versatile. And I pretty much have worn it every day since. Next piece. Bendy. Everyone probably has seen what this is, only because I've literally had this in every photo on Instagram. It's a bag kind of bug. I call it the Fendi bug. Don't know if it's that, that's its right name. Kind of obsessed with it. It's actually quite cute. It's got lots of blue hair. But there you go. It's been on my bag every single day. My boyfriend's slightly sick of it. He thinks I'm a bit of a weirdo. Um, for those of you who don't know who, La well, know who, oh my god, I think I'm really lacking in sleep right now. For those of you who don't know um, what Lush is, it's a animal, uh, animal free, no, animal free, it doesn't test on animals basically, don't mind my, you know, bad words, but it fights against animal testing and it's amazing bath bombs, lip products, beauty products, but mainly kind of bath, you know. Things. And this is Alfie, no. Um, this is a unicorn little thing. I'll show this, I'll put a close up of this, but it looks like it is gonna be amazing. Um doesn't really smell of mutt. Oh, I can smell the lavender, but again, you know, we'll see. Okay, but I think it's gonna look amazing in the bar. Um the next one checking my little dog isn't doing anything rude behind me. Um, my next one, this one is called Sex Bomb. And this is one of my favorites. This is insane. Oh my God, to die for it. Smells ridic. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but it, again, it's a bath bomb. And it, you can actually use these for one to two baths, not one. I, when I first started using them, I kind of let them all go in the one bath. And then someone said to me, Chloe, are you like, that stupid? You can use them at least, at least two times. So now I get a lot more use out of them. And then I'm sure everyone's either used this, um, because for me, this is a holy grail product. It's the Bubblegum Lip Scrub. It smells ridiculous it tastes even better kind of when you put it on your lips have to make sure i don't start eating it which sounds a little creepy but you know life goes on um so there you go and basically it exfoliates exfoliates can't talk your lips so i use it in the morning or before i put on lipstick um and it keeps my lips kind of you know soft be quite honest with you um my next thing are these mac wipes to die for. I love these. Um, one of them takes off all your makeup, eye makeup, lipstick, anything you have on, it comes off with these. Like seriously, so good. Um, the next thing I did was went a little crazy with the lashes. So I'm actually blind in my left eye. 
completely blind, legally blind in the left eye. So I've never been able to put lashes on properly. And if I do, they've kind of got a huge gap. I pretty much look really stupid. Now this is big news. On New Year's Eve, when it was one of my close friend's weddings, I suddenly just figured out, and I'm not saying I'm an expert because I'm still pretty bad at them, but I decided in London to just go crazy and buy lots of lashes so I could just play with them, try them, because I think I'm getting better at putting them on. Anyway, so I had to try these because I can't find these in Australia and these are just from a drugstore. Um, they're about five or six pounds and I haven't tried them yet, so this is something I'm gonna have to get back to you. But another vlogger I follow uses them religiously, so I thought, let's give them a go. Um, and then we go to MAC lashes, went a little crazy. Um, so there we go. I actually got about four or five pairs, but I used some of them in London, so I haven't got them. But again, I'll do a close up and I'll find out their names and put that below in the box. Um, um, the next ones are these Velour lashes. And I came across these again through a YouTuber. Um, and they're made of mink hair. Cruelty free, so before anyone says anything, cruelty free. It's like when they sh like shred their hair, they use it. Sounds a little gross, but the good thing is they are really, really soft. And I haven't used them yet. I can't wait to use them. So I'm gonna have to let you know what they're like. Um, but they say up to 25 wears. Don't know if that's true, but I think if you look after them, it could be, but we'll see. Um, okay, so the next thing I got, which I also posted on Instagram, was this Dior palette. Um, it's really cool because it comes with all different brushes. It's got eyeshadows, blush, kind of a lip product. Um, and it's something I haven't really seen before. Well, of course I've seen these before, but the colors I really like because there's lots of neutrals, but then there's also some bright colors. Um, so I've used this once in London, but I'll kind of kind of let you know what I think of it. And I got these amazing by Terry lip glosses. There's, it's like a little package. I think it's still available. I think you can get it on Mecca Cosmetics if you're in Australia or Netta Porte if you're elsewhere. Uh, my friend Alex told me about these and they are literally to die for. I love them. My favorite would be this purple one and this pink one. So I'm gonna do a close up for you and hopefully you can try these out because so far, so good. If you follow, which I do admit I do, Kylie Jenner, you'll be seeing that her lips have looked slightly ridiculous recently. So I did a bit of Googling and research and tried to find out what was going on. You know, had to kind of get in with the gossip. Anyway, so apparently she uses a lipstick from MAC called Velvet Teddy and a lip liner called Whirl. I went to, not even kidding, Duty Free Mac. I went to Mac on Kensington High Street, Mac to Mac in Harrods, in Selfridges, in Harvey, everywhere. Like, everywhere, world is out of stock. And I think that's because of Kylie Jenner. So unfortunately, I couldn't get that, but I did get Velvet Teddy. I have to let you know what's going on there. It's really good though. I posted a selfie, um, I think two days ago, or yesterday, and I had this on and a few people asking about it. And the lip liner I used with it is called Pink Treat. This is amazing. So I kind of overline my lips and then fill it in with this. Um, so this is an alternative to Whirl. Uh, hope, I want to get my hands on Whirl, so you know, we'll see how we go. My other holy grail, new holy grail, is this Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. It's in Pillow Talk. And this is also amazing. I've got that on now. I always have been putting it on for my lipstick. Yep, lipstick or lip gloss. And it kind of just makes everything last longer. And I also got this from Netta, my you know, little Netta Porte haul that I did. Um, already gone through one of these. This is like seriously amazing. Also, the next thing is this MAC brush. It is the 187. And I've heard so many good things about this. Everyone says to use this, it's a foundation brush. I haven't used it because I wanted to show it to you guys whilst it was clean. So of course, as soon as I use it, that's out the door. Messy, I'm probably like the messiest person when it comes to my makeup brushes. Otherwise I'm clean, makeup brushes, got no clue there. Don't know what's wrong with me. Um, but I'll let you know how this goes. Um, these two pigments, vanilla, and this travel size violet, both from MAC. I kind of spray it with a Studio Fix on my brush before applying them. Um, vanilla, I think, is a favorite from MAC. Uh, it's one that everyone uses. It's a good, uh, 
what's that called? I'm just having a mind blank. Shading kind of color, the color that you put there. Can't even think right now, brand's not working. And this is a lot of fun too. It's just this purpley violet color, I guess. Um, and then I got from MAC also this amazing palette. She has four colors, looks amazing. I use this nonstop in London. And I also got this, um, what's this one called, sorry? A medley of mauves. Don't know if I said that right. Um, and then I also got this Spiritual Life Mineralized Eyeshadow, which I'm really excited about. I kind of even had this on the plane with me and it kind of helped make my eyes just look a little brighter. You know, it's on the plane, your eyes kind of go droopy and you just look a bit deranged, but this helped majorly. And then I also got this uh, finishing powder, which I haven't used yet. Another thing I heard about and was talked into it getting at MAC, um, but again, apparently this is a really good product and I'll let you know. Um, so there we go, so many things. And then a blogger or YouTube blogger called Carly Bell, which I'm sure all of you know, um, I read she used this one, Peachy Keen by MAC and it's a blush. I also have that on now and love it. So thank you for that tip. Um, so this Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, I have this on now as well. So it's a bronzer and a highlighter um, and it's amazing. Uh, it just, it does everything. It, you know, obviously bronzes and highlights, but it's great in this very cute packaging. It's gold, I love gold. I actually think it's rose gold and I'm obsessed with rose gold, serious issues. Um, and then Hourglass, this blush. To be honest, I got this because I thought it looked pretty um, and I haven't used it, but also heard great things about this. So I'm excited to use this. Um, and then these are, I heard, or oh, I've heard everyone talking about this makeup forever. So I thought I'd give this a go. Um, I went into a store and they kind of color tested it. I've used it only two times and I really, really liked it. It's quite a light coverage and then I find if I put more, like, you know, another layer on, it builds it up, which I think is great. Um, an hourglass veil. I think everyone knows about this one. It's a mineral primer, it's oil free. So sometimes I get really oily skin, especially when I'm traveling a lot and always flying, and you know, you know the drill. Um, so I love using this. Anyway, Alfie. He's enjoying life, clearly. Um, See you later. Mwah.